Dying Light Bad Blood sure was a weird one. It came out at the height of Battle Royale releases, where Fortnite, Apex Legends, and PUBG were at their prime, but Bad Blood flew under the radar for even the most casual Dying Light fans. A lot of it I would say having to do with there being no console port. And since its release in 2018, the player base has continued to die off, but not completely yet. There is an existing player base still casually playing the game, and is it more than like 15 people? No. But if you still wanted to play the game, you could. I even dabbled in a few solo matches myself. The most I found was 5 other players in one game, and what's nice is you don't need a full lobby being 12 players to start a match, so it works. The actual battle royale itself isn't perfect, but it's a good time if you enjoy the gameplay of Dying Light and want to try something new. I'm not too positive, but I believe you can still get it through connecting to Techland's DACA website, but if not, it's around $2 on G2A. All links will be down below. There were the occasional disappearing infected or bogus death moments, but I recommend you check it out anyways. It's cool seeing a more green and decayed Haran. It really makes me wish we saw an Old Town style map like this as well, but unfortunately, over a year ago, Techland did announce they were no longer supporting Bad Blood with new content and bug fixing. And it's really a shame, there were a lot of really great things here, but it may not be the end of PvP for Techland yet. With many Dying Light 2 leaks happening week by week, a lot is revealed already. One thing that really caught my eye was this King of the Hill prototype found by Bub. It's most likely going to be fighting NPCs only, like the combat arena from Dying Light 1, but there is a lot of potential for custom map tools and creating fun combat arenas like this. It's definitely different, but that's what I would like to see. Custom maps really played a huge role in keeping the community for Dying Light 1 thriving. Techland is playing silly games to keep holding back these features for Dying Light 2, but hey, what do I know? I just know personally, a lot of my highlights from playing Dying Light 1 came from custom maps, so I would like to see that for the second game too. Of course, there's many other Dying Light 2 leaks already out there that I'll cover when I get to it. I'm not really rushing to make a certain type of video or keep trying to keep up to date in every piece of news because I'm not really feeling it like I once was. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to be back making content, but after disappointment to disappointment with Dying Light 2, I'm kind of just taking a step back and just watching what happens. The first story DLC is what I have my eye on most right now, and hopefully something else releases before that that really catches my eye. Because right now we don't have a Be The Zombie mode, or Bozak, or Prison Heist maps, so we don't have a whole lot of things to change it up. Of course, there's many Dying Light 2 leaks out there that give us a few ideas for what's to come, but none of it has personally got me extremely excited yet. But hey, that's about all for now. If you enjoyed, then like the video and subscribe if you want, and leave me your thoughts about this all down below. Be sure to stop by for the next one, folks. Adios.